Yo, what's up, fam? It's been a minute since we've done a video on something like this, but I wanted to talk to you about how to actually make money with coding. And this is something I used to talk a lot about on the channel before, but then after a while, you know, I kind of stopped talking about it because I just felt like people were like, Kazi, just talking too much about money and whatever. And so we just need to code. So then I just like shut up and I'm like, whatever, we're just gonna make videos on projects and tutorials. And hopefully everybody's gonna stop complaining about me talking about money. But today I'm gonna bring that back and I will talk about how to actually make money with coding because like it or not, it is the reason why a lot of people work. Yes, you do wanna do a job that really matters. Of course, that makes sense. But the primary reason for a lot of why we work is so we can make money so that we get options and freedom to do whatever we want. So in this video, that's what we're gonna talk about. Smash the like button before we get started. By the way, right before we get into this video, I do want to give a huge shout out to Crypto.com. And thank you so much to Crypto.com for sponsoring this video. Crypto.com is an amazing platform for you to trade and buy and sell crypto. Uh, it is an amazing platform. They have very low fees for you to be able to make all these trades, whether you want to buy Solana or Ethereum or Bitcoin or whatever it is. They're a really solid platform to be able to do that. They're giving away $25 for free right now if you actually sign up using the code CP. So if you sign up using the code CP, you can get $25 for free. So make sure to go ahead down below, uh, click the link, put in CP in the code and sign up. Uh, and it'll be great for them. It'll be great for you to be able to get the $25 for free. And uh, maybe they can be your app where you make all your crypto trades. So with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Now, I understand there are a ton of YouTubers out there that are talking about how to actually make money with coding online. It's nothing new and everything, almost everything under the sun that's been covered. But I'm going to try to provide it from my point of view as a developer who's went from making $1,000 a month to $3,000 a month, eventually making $5,000 a month to $10,000 a month and then eventually having a channel and scaling that up to $100,000 a month and beyond. So hopefully that'll give you some interesting insights mixed with tips on programming and software development along with tips on just business acumen and things of that nature. So let's talk about the most obvious way to make money as a developer and let's start with that. So the most obvious way to make money as a developer is you become good enough through a degree, without a degree, you go and apply and you get a job and you become a full-time developer or whatever. Okay, that's a great way. That's the most obvious way. Then there are a lot of other ways, right? So you can just go get a full-time job, become a full-time developer. But I think that what are the nuances that you can have within that? And that's what really matters. And I wanna talk about those things too. So if you're applying as a developer, Think about it. There's so many other people that are also applying as a developer and it, there is a huge commodity and then you're competing against people in Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, Kenya, Ghana, all these different places that I even hire a lot of my developers from because you can't compete with them. They're better than you. They work harder than you. Their work ethic is better. They're not as entitled and they charge way less. So it makes sense. And a lot of people do that. A lot of companies do that. And I think that's why freelancing becomes really hard. But in US, if you're getting a full time job, they are looking for people in the US. And let's talk about why they're doing that. A lot of the times, primarily, they're looking for developers who also have good communication skills, because that's one of the problems that I run into when I'm hiring somebody. That's the problem that I see. Communication is often lacking when we hire somebody overseas. So thing number one that's really important for you to keep in mind is communication skills. That skill alone can actually make you really stand out even against other better developers because while you might not be as good of a developer, we won't have communication problems and therefore in the long run, you'll actually be a better developer working on my team. Okay, And that's how a lot of employers think as well. So something to keep in mind. Second thing, how do you stand out and not just be a commodity? Well, think about doing something that's harder, right? So I'll give you an example. If you're somebody who can offer cleaning services for somebody, right? That's really good, but a lot of people could do that. And so that's a commodity. You have to compete at pricing oftentimes on that. Now think about people who make, so that's why those people also make a lot less money. Now think about who is making a lot of money. Surgeons, 
and people who are doctors because it's hard to replace what they do. This is very difficult. So there are very few people who can become doctor, go through that rigorous training, be that adept at medical field, understanding all the vocabulary in the medical field, and then being able to diagnose each patient differently or perform a heart surgery. And so when you become very rare, you start making a lot more income simply because you're much more in demand. One of the biggest areas right now you can crush it as a developer is if you started heading into the blockchain world, right? The Web3 world. I wanted to tell you guys a story and maybe I'll do that in another video, but even my friend Nas, he's doing a bunch of stuff. You guys remember him from the channel before and now he's doing a bunch of stuff with NFTs and things like that. And just one client that he worked with paid $25,000 and that project took him maybe a month to do. That is insane. No regular developer would even think of that level of money unless they were working at Netflix, Google, Big Four, and then they had a high level position to a really high level position. It's not that it doesn't exist. There are opportunities, but you have to spot them and then you have to like find a way to fall in love with them and then get good at them. And that's what makes it difficult. And so if you can find those opportunities and spot them and become good at them, then you have a very amazing and lucrative career opportunity in front of you. And so I highly recommend you think about, I want to become a developer because I enjoy it. So that's really important. I am willing to work my ass off and work incredibly hard. And that's really important. But then also what's really important is the niche that you fall into. So if you're a developer that can help develop on Ethereum or Solana or one of these chains, you're gonna be much more sought after than a regular developer and even developers with only one or two years of experience in the Ethereum land, they're making over a hundred thousand dollars a year. Whereas in the regular front end developer, that'd be really hard because you can find so many people. And I experienced a similar thing. So we wanted to hire, uh, we wanted to hire smart contract developers. And every time we hired them, they were so hard to find. And even when we found somebody, even with months of experience, they, we, ha we paid them like five times more than a developer that we found that was like a front end developer because there's just the competition is just so crazy. And so they don't get paid as much because it's a commodity. And so you just have to think about it, right? What do you pick? What do you choose? What do you stick with? And what do you grow on? A lot of the videos that we're making right now on the channel are blockchain related. And that's the primary reason why we're making them because that will give you a much bigger opportunity if you tap into the blockchain space to grow your skill set, to grow your income, and to have a much more lucrative career as a developer, because that's so sought after right now. And there's such a huge demand for it. And so much of the world is moving into the blockchain slash crypto space. So that's one of the things to really keep in mind. Here's another crazy thing to think about in the blockchain space. And this is a huge opportunity. And this is something actually I wanted to chase with my team, but I think it's something that maybe I would want to do in the future because right now I do want to focus on growing this channel and just providing a lot of free, valuable content out there for you guys. But here's a big opportunity and it has to do with Web3 bounties. So in the crypto world, a lot of companies are offering what they call bounties, right? So Harmony Wallet or Harmony One Wallet had this Notion page that I don't know if we could find it or not. They're offering $20 million for people to build different parts of what they're looking for, their web app and their mobile app. And for example, they're giving away $7 million in just the front end. And they go, hey, if you can make this front end for our web app, and let's say you can make the web app look like Coinbase, or you could make the mobile app look like Coinbase, they're willing to give you $2 million for that. If you can help set the, get them a solid backend, they might pay $3 million for that. If you wanna focus more on the security aspect and help them integrate security, they're willing to pay three to five million for that. And the money in this space is so nuts because every single investor is just pouring their money into this. A16Z, uh, Andreessen Horowitz, and a ton of other investors. And so they are okay with giving away disproportionate amounts of money to incentivize you to help them build something. Because if they can move faster, they can essentially dominate the market. Because everybody is like going to lead and dominate the market if they move fast on this opportunity. If they don't move fast, then somebody else is going to come and eat them up. So they see the opportunity to go and raise massive amounts of capital as startups, and then they're willing to go and distribute it. So you could take a month or two months hunting this bounty and you could get, maybe if you don't get $2 million, you get $100,000, $200,000 
$50,000, $25,000, even if you get $10,000, think about that's one month of work or two months of work. And is that worth it? And it could be really worth it and really significant. So Web3 bounties is a massive opportunity. I would highly recommend you look into them. Also, obviously, if that wasn't clear, what I've been saying right now, Web3 jobs are also a massive opportunity. Okay. So those are some of the different ones that I think not a lot of people are talking about. Those are massive ones, but I'll go over some other ones that are more kind of obvious and other people have talked about too. Freelancing is a big one. For example, if you freelance, but if you do it in a different way, kind of like I'm sharing with you, I think you have much higher opportunities as a freelancer. You can make money right and with coding. Another one that's interesting that not a lot of people talk about is tutoring. So you could go on platforms like Wizant or TakeLessons.com or some other ones. People will um, people will pay you to teach them coding. And I bet if you could teach people Solidity or Rust, they will pay you twice or three times as much to teach them. So let's say that with regular coding, you could charge $100 an hour or $50 an hour. If you're teaching somebody Solidity, you could charge $75, $100, $200, $300 an hour. And I bet there are a lot of people willing to pay that so they could learn Solidity or Rust, any of the blockchain Web3 programming languages. Other ways you can do this and make money is, of course, you could start your own startup or you can launch your own SaaS business. That's much, much harder. There's luck involved. There's a ton of skill involved and there's a whole like you have to fully learn business. And so not everybody's going to have a knack for that. Obviously, that's one of the best places and one of the most lucrative places, you know, cause then you can launch a company like Phantom Wallet or MetaMask or something like that and have millions of users. And then the world is your oyster essentially. That's really hard and rare. And so I would say at least build some level of experience as a software developer, because to be honest, to start a SaaS company, you're not gonna, if you don't have background as a software developer, you're just gonna throw your money away and not make anything successful and yeah, it'll be terrible. So I wouldn't start a startup in a SaaS company if you don't know software development, unless you have a ton of money and you can blow it and not worry about it and you're okay with losing that, then you can take a try on it. But if you don't know software development and you don't have a lot of money, I would never recommend starting a SaaS startup. That'd be really hard, but of course you could try it. I don't want to discourage anybody. The other one is content creation as a developer, which is what I do, which is what a ton of other people do, whether it's Joe, my tech or programming with Mosh or uh, whoever is out there, right? All these content creators as developers, it's very simple. Generally, they make videos that help a ton of people. Think of us like glorified teachers. We are essentially teachers. We love teaching. I love teaching. And we're sharing this with people. And then if you get a following big enough, you could sell a course, you can monetize it with YouTube, or you could do kind of a little bit of what we're doing, which is we're going, Hey, we'll keep a lot of stuff for you for free, but then we'll go charge these companies to teach their technology or train you on them. And then it's a win-win for everybody. The companies win, you win, and you guys get a ton of free content. So it's how, it doesn't matter how you set up your business model. You could even do it where you have your channel and then you just like tutor people because you're starting to get a ton of tutoring clients, whatever the case may be. So when you have your own channel, when you ever, when you have your own source, the amount that what, what you could do with it is infinite. Having a brand is really, is definitely one of the most valuable things you could do. But again, not everybody enjoys that. And that's not everybody's cup of tea. But obviously doing content creation is a huge opportunity for developers. And a lot of developers have taken to that, right? Traversy Media, Fireship, Coder Coder, and a lot of the coding community. I mean, forgetting their name, that guy that made the stock trading video, Cali, uh, Cali Halden. <sighs> yeah, the list of developer coding channel goes on. So those are some of the ways that I've listed out. And just to kind of recap, we've talked about freelancing, tutoring, Web3 bounties, a full-time job, startups, and content creation as a dev. So we really talked about six different ways. My main takeaway for you is don't be a commodity. Learn something that's more niche. That'll make your life a lot easier. Focus on communication skills because that helps you stand out. And that's how you can provide a ton more value in the market. And that's how you could charge a ton of more money. And then whether you go freelancing or full-time, those will all give you uh, really good chances of being able to make significant amount of money as a developer while enjoying your career 
again, I just want to make sure, right? You understand none of this is easy. This all requires a tremendous amount of hard work. So understand that you should, I'm not going to say must, but I'm just going to say you should love it to a certain extent, because if you don't, I know too many people who are in the IT field that are absolutely miserable with their lives and hate them. So I don't want you to be one of them. I want you to love your life, enjoy your life and make good money as a developer. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button if you haven't already. And once again, sign up to crypto.com. They're absolutely incredible. Get $25 free when you sign up using the code CP below. Okay. And it'll be in the link will be in the description as well. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Sign up for crypto.com. And I love your beautiful face. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.